All right, so let's take a look at graphing exponential functions in my math lab. All right, so here we have a problem. You can see it says it wants us to graph g of x is equal to 3 raised to the x minus 5 and its asymptotes. Okay, and we're going to base this on the graph of 3 to the x, the parent function, and basically what we're going to do is use transformations. All right, so let's look. So we're going to click on here to enlarge the graph. Okay. Now, we know that the uh, exponential function, it kind of looks like, you know, something like this, how, the, how my mouse is going. So we know it's, it's this one here, and it, that's the shape of your exponential. So then what you're going to do is just click anywhere on here, okay, and it'll, It'll throw it in the standard position. This is the graph. This would be the graph of f of x equals 3 to the x. All right, now we've got this little box that pops up. All right, so there's no vertical or horizontal stretch. Okay, we don't have anything multiplied to the 3 or uh, multiplied to the, uh, the x up here or anything like that. All right, so we got to look at vertical translation. Okay, so vertical translation, that's going to be how it moves up and down. Okay, up and down. And then the horizontal translation would be left and right. All right, so we can see that it's, it's not going to move up or down. Okay. All right, so just let me show you this real quick. Uh, if, if we have a function, uh, f of x equals 3 to the x, and say then we have this function, g of x is equal to 3 raised to the x, let's say minus some number h plus some number k, okay? All right, so what's happening is, you see this, this part up here in the exponent, this is gonna move it left and right, and this part out here is gonna move it up and down. And you can see in our problem, we have an x minus five, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at our problem again. All right. So we can see that we have the x minus 5 here. That's going to move it left and right. All right. I'm going to do some more examples besides this, this one that will move it up and down. So watch that video too. All right. So I can see the x minus 5. That's going to move it 5 units to the right. If it were plus 5, it would move it 5 units to the left. So I have a horizontal translation of five units. So there we go. So we moved it five units to the right and since we have no negative in front of the x or negative in front of the three, it's not going to reflect about any of the axis. Okay, and so we're done with this thing for right now. Alright, and now notice they said also in there to graph its asymptote. So we need to come over here and get the line tool. And you notice that we have a asymptote at y equal zero right here. This graph will never cross the y-axis. So you just pick the line tool up here and then click here and you can move it around and move it, you know, just move it to where it's horizontal. And then, I mean, I don't know if they want you to, but uh, I just went ahead and dash made, made the line a dashed line horizontal asymptotes are dashed lines and so then we hit save and then I'll I know you can't see the check answer button but we'll have it check the answer and it says nice work all right so now let's look at this the equation of the asymptote all right so you can see the asymptote right here it's a dashed line well what's the equation of that line well, it's a horizontal line, 
going through where y equals 0, so that would be y equals 0. And we hit check, right? Now the domain, so that's the domain, that's all the x values we can plug in. So all the x values we have, well, it's going to go to the left forever, it's going to go to the right forever. So our domain would be what? Negative infinity to positive. Well, yeah, to positive infinity. Okay, and let's check the answer. And so we got it right. All right, and now it wants the range. Well, the range is the y values. So the range is going to be y values from 0 to infinity. Now, notice the 0 is not included, so we will have to put a parenthesis on the 0, and that's going to go to infinity. And then we'll close the parenthesis here, and we will check the answer. And we got it. So let's go to the next question. I've got two more. All right, so let's look at this one. So we've got 3 to the x minus 1 plus 2. Well, remember, if it's plus or minus, if it's plus or minus up here in the exponent, that's going to move the graph left or right. And then the plus or minus down here, that's going to move it up or down. Okay, so let's click to enlarge. All right. And then we're going to pick the exponential tool and let's so let's put it on there. Move this up some so you can see it. All right, so we've got an x minus 1 and we've got a plus 2. So we're going to have a horizontal and a vertical shift. All right, so the x minus 1, let's look at that. That's a horizontal shift. And since it's minus 1, that's going to move it to the right one unit. And then the plus 2, that's going to move it up. If it were minus 2, it would move it down. So we have x plus 2. Let's see if I can get there. There we go. All right, so that's x plus 2. And it's not going to reflect about any axis. There's no negative 3 or negative x. Okay, I think the next example I do has something like that. So. All right, so now let's pick the line tool. And so for the line tool, well, we've got a horizontal asymptote right here. It's not going to see how it shifted it up two units. I'm going to click here, and we'll move it to where it's horizontal. And then I'll click it to be dashed. And then let's save that. And we'll check. Okay. All right, the equation of the asymptote. Well, the asymptote's up here, it's a horizontal line. So we know it's y equals, and well, where's it going through? Two. And so, check the answer. And then the domain, well, that's the x values. So that's gonna be negative infinity to positive infinity. And then the range, well, the range, well, that's the y values. All right, so the, the y values, it's only going to go from 2 to infinity. And the 2 is not included, so it will have a parenthesis on it. And that's going to go 2 to infinity. All right, and then we'll check the answer, and we got it. All right, so this is the last one. So we got g of x to the negative. g of x equals negative 6 to the x. All right, so let's click to enlarge. All right, so All right, so let's look at it. We've got, that's just 6 to the x, okay? So there's no, let me clear that. Not that didn't pop up, let's see. There we go. 
All right, so there's no vertical or horizontal stretching. There's no vertical or horizontal shift because it's just an X up there. All right, now what about the reflection? All right, so the reflection, we've got negative 6 to the X. All right, so the negative is in front of the 6. So that's going to reflect over the X axis. Okay, if the negative if the negative was up in the exponent, that would reflect over the Y axis. Okay, sorry I started yawning there. Okay, it would start reflecting over the Y axis, but this one's reflecting over the X axis because of the negative in front of the six. All right, and base is six, so all that looks good. And then we need to put in our asymptote. That's going to be here at zero. And I'll go ahead and make it a dashed line. All right, and hit save. And let's check our answer. Okay. And so the asymptote, well, that's this line here, y equals zero. So I've got y equals zero. Uh, the domain, of course, that's going to be uh, negative infinity to positive infinity. And then the range, well, the range, this time it's open and down, so the y values is going to be from negative infinity to zero. So that's going to be, let's see, negative infinity to zero. All right. And so there we have it, and we're done with that question. And I hope it helped. Uh, well, there's logarithms. I'll do that in another video. Check that out. But I uh, hope the video helped. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And Thanks for watching.